Alright guys, raise your hand if you would give an untested drug formula to the person that you loved the most. Anyone? Anyone? No? Just this arsehole then. Nice. Complete arsehole. 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 This truly must be the epitome of waffle bollocks. Hi, I hope you're having an epic day wherever you are. Welcome to the video. I'm Sam. Thank you for being here. Today, we're going to look at the worst diet scam I have ever seen. Leptitox. If you're thinking about buying this product, please watch this video through first and then thank me later. Why is it the worst? Well, there are lies left, right and centre. There's a deception overload and they put very little effort into the whole bloody thing. And I mean shockingly small amounts of effort. Someone on YouTube commented under my burn scam video and pointed me towards the Leptitox sales pitch. <sighs> Thank you for that. It was 10 times more painful to sit through than the burn sales presentation. So I hope you appreciate what I've had to subject myself to, to make sure you keep hold of your money, you look after your health and you don't fall for this waffle bollocks. There is a lot to cover, so let's get straight into it and start with the Leptitox intro. A 46 year old mother of three trapped inside her own body. This is apparently Morgan Hurst, the so called founder. He is not a fitness expert, he's not a doctor, he's not a scientist, a researcher, a nutritionist, a dietitian. He has no qualifications whatsoever to be advising anyone on their health, let alone selling a supplement. On the other hand, I'm a qualified personal trainer. I have a science degree, so I know how to do and read research. I have a fantastic inbuilt waffle bollocks detector, and right now I feel like an investigative reporter. So I am fueled, I am passionate about digging up the truth and I'm going to give it to you straight up. I want to get this out of the way early on. I am 99% sure that this guy is an actor or a robot or a very real puppet. He is clearly reading off a script and not doing a great job of it either. And if you search for him online, he doesn't seem to exist like anywhere. But don't worry, it gets much shadier. Oh and his character is a complete arsehole. We get started with a classic sob story. Are we supposed to sympathise? Would it not be better to have his wife, Grace, tell her own story? Or would it have been too expensive to hire another actor? They were clearly on a tight budget because they can't even afford a real website. I mean, it's not really that difficult. I've got a website and I'm just a guy in his bedroom. I digress. Let's carry on. Let's find out why we're here. So why am I sharing this story with you today? Of a five second water hack from a tiny Malaysian island, one so powerful it would completely transform my 46 year old wife's life. A five second water hack that requires an hour long video. Fantastic. What sort of results can we expect with this hack? Melt away two pounds overnight and in just a matter of weeks, lose 62 pounds of raw, ugly fat from all over her body, arms, face, hips, and thighs. What the hell? <laughs> Talk about fat shaming. There is a huge difference between objectively saying that someone is unhealthy because they're overweight and straight up calling your wife ugly all over because she's fat. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He's an arsehole. But now we're all curious, what did your wife look like? Going from this to this, going from this to this. <laughs> oh, she looked horrendously photoshopped. It's not even clear that these are the same women. I actually have a similar transformation. I went from this to this. Do you want to know my secret? Which required no crazy diets, no marathon running, just a simple body hack. I took one powerful herbal laxative every hour for one week. Yeah, that's all I did. And I shit myself into shape. I'm not kidding. It's not fake. I promise. And that makes it true. But fear not. By using my discovery of the simple forbidden five second water hack, which I'm about to reveal on the short video. A short video? Are you having a laugh? 
This is an hour and 10 minutes long. And yes, this discovery has nothing to do with ab crunches, fasting, counting calories, dieting, or even gastric bypass surgery. Of course, why would weight loss need to involve monitoring food intake? And no kidding that your five second water hack doesn't require a major operation. Grace still ate all her favorite foods like brownies, pizza, cheesecake, and ice cream. Maybe that was why your fake wife was overweight. There is a strong correlation between eating high calorie foods with no micronutrients and being overweight. You are going to be filled with disgust when you hear a weight loss industry insider break his code of silence and reveal the three biggest weight loss lies touted by doctors and fitness experts around the world. And then the real reason why every diet or exercise plan you do may work for a bit, but will always fail. Do you want to know why diets fail? Because diets come to an end. People lose weight, but they aren't educated in how to maintain a healthy weight, which is why they became overweight in the first place. Education is what's important, not fake supplements. So what exactly is going to be revealed then? And the clinically proven ancient five second water hack that you can do tonight to tackle this foreign toxin, which will, while you are sleeping this very night, start burning off stubborn, ugly body fat. Ah, the water hack, which actually never gets revealed, but obviously they do reveal more fat shaming behavior. And how many people have used this? Where is the evidence to say that it actually works? It is so effective that it's already worked for over 166,304 people. And this number is steadily increasing. 166,304, that is very precise. But do we hear from any real people? Not actors mind, real people. No? Okay. But if 166,000 people have used your product, then surely you'd have some reviews of this amazing miracle product. Well, you have none on your shoddy website, but maybe we should look at Trustpilot. Ooh, that is not looking good now, is it? 30 reviews, a 2.9 star average. What are people saying about it? Oh my God. This person isn't experiencing any weight loss, but they are experiencing hair loss because of this product. And it looks like I'm not the only person that believes this is a scam although it doesn't take a lot to see how fake this really is. Every day my inbox is full of new success stories from people. He must have had some good waffle bollards for breakfast. How can his inbox be full if he doesn't exist on social media? If the only email they provide is a very generic one for their product, and the phone number that is provided is connected to the secondary service site they actually sell the product through, Clickbank. On top of this, the only photo of this man online is this one. This photo is a still that is taken from the presentation and photoshopped onto a different background. Oh, and then it goes straight back into shaming you if you're overweight. To never worry about people smirking at you or judging you. To be free of the guilt and shame around your eating and what people think of what you're eating. Jesus. <laughs> Emotional manipulation to sell products. Now that is low. Surely we now agree that he's an arsehole and it gets even worse. We're at the 10 minute mark, and he finally introduces himself. It's time I introduced myself properly. Hello, my name is Morgan Hurst. I'm no doctor, I'm no nutritionist, I'm no guest lecturer at Yale University. You know what I am, I'm you. Whoa, you're me? You mean, I'm a robotic asshole shaming people into buying scam supplement products? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I'm a real person. I'm really glad that he had to clarify that for us. I'm a 47 year old firefighter and I live with my wife, Grace, and our three kids in Denver, Colorado. I have protected my community, their homes and their lives for over a decade. It's clever what they've done. They paint the picture that this man is perfect. They even named his wife Grace. They give him the backstory that he's a family man, a firefighting hero a self-sacrificing do-gooder willing to put his life on the line for innocent people every day. So of course he wants to help you. So I'll summarize the next spiel for you so you don't have to suffer through it too. Basically, his wife got pregnant. She gained 30 pounds, another 20 pounds with their second child and another 20 pounds with their third child. Does she know she's supposed to give birth to them? But jokes aside, she's now apparently 70 pounds heavier. 
The doctor told her to exercise and go on a calorie controlled diet. Good job, doc. I mean, Grace tried everything to lose the stubborn fat. Vegetarian, low carb, keto, paleo, fasting, special teas, even hypnosis. Hypnosis, why? Just why? He carries on and explains that she tried every diet, all the intense fitness classes, and he has this to say about it. And I'm not gonna tell you that these strategies didn't work. They did work for a while, but like so many people, Grace couldn't stick to any of them. Right, so diets, specifically a calorie deficit and exercising, does work for fat loss. We are all clear on that. The problem is that your wife just didn't wanna do them. The safe, scientifically proven methods prescribed by the doctor for her own health. You see, I know exactly what you are going through. The shame, the pants that don't fit, the binging, the scale, anxiety. Could someone not have given him a bigger projector to read off instead of four words at a time? The whole presentation is clearly scripted. It's so wooden, it's so emotionless. This guy is apparently the founder. He discovered this. He's talking about the struggles of his own wife. Where is the emotion? Why does it seem like he's talking about this for the very first time? And the more weight she put on, the more depressed she became. And the further away she drifted from the woman I'd fallen in love with. On top of it all, our sex life had completely gone. And on top of it all, my belief you're reading off a script is strong. Until one night with Grace asleep upstairs, I found myself browsing Instagram, looking at slim, sexy women in their bikinis on beaches. I felt so guilty, but I couldn't help me. Asshole. I was going to do everything in my power to defeat her belly fat for good, whatever it took. I was going to fix her. I was going to make her love herself and her body again. And I was going to do it without diet or exercise. Of course you are because diets and exercise are the enemy. So what does he do? He becomes an overnight scientist. He goes on to explain that leptin produced by fat cells controls hunger. That low leptin levels means that you're hungry and high leptin levels means that you are satisfied. But problems arise when something called leptin resistance happens. So leptin resistance means that high leptin levels don't get registered by the brain so you don't feel full. But this only really affects people who are obese. And if you're slightly overweight, this probably won't affect you at all. Until at the end, you've eaten that entire cake. You've wolfed down that whole bag of chips. You feel guilty, you feel sick, you feel tired, but you still don't feel entirely full or satisfied. Yeah, your body doesn't feel satisfied because you've piled it with junk. If you eat a highly processed diet, it is very likely you are malnourished from not having enough micronutrients. Your body wants to keep eating because it is looking for vitamins and minerals. On top of this, you are probably not getting enough protein in your diet and your body is still craving that. And this is explained by the protein leverage hypothesis. You look, look at yourself because we don't have time today. How do you or Grace get leptin resistance before all the weight gain began? Well, it's not proven that leptin resistance causes obesity it is much more likely that leptin resistance develops as someone becomes obese the same way that someone becomes insulin resistant. Until I had left online posts on forums and message boards requesting any information that could help Grace. I spoke with a man I'll call Jonah who has asked to remain anonymous to protect his identity. His real name, Jason Bourne. Over our call, he revealed to me the three biggest and closely guarded lies of the weight loss industry. Well. It must be true if an anonymous man reveals it over the phone. I'll spare the details. The first diet industry lie is that diets help you lose weight. Sure, you may lose a couple pounds, but research shows 95% of all diets fail. And in fact, over 66% of people who diet end up putting on more weight within months of starting. This happens a lot. Vague research is mentioned but with no actual scientific evidence provided. It's an absolute classic tactic. This one shocked me. Exercise helps you lose weight. The reasoning behind this is that exercise produces a stress response. Stress releases cortisol and therefore you actually gain weight because of cortisol. Of course, none of the thousands of undisputed research regarding the energy expenditure of exercise or the fat for fuel and endurance activities should be believed. We just have to look to all those obese professional athletes because by this logic, 
all those that do the most exercise should be the fattest. Jonah revealed the big weight loss lie number three. Slow metabolism causes weight gain. Slow metabolisms don't cause weight gain. Fast metabolisms don't cause weight loss. But slow metabolisms do mean that you have a lower TDEE, which makes it easier to gain weight. So it does play a vital part. The sales pitch here takes a little bit of a left turn and we're not actually any closer to revealing what the five second water hack is. But then again, we never do. However, this next bit is just straight up disgraceful behavior. I'm embarrassed to share this with you, but I feel I have to. Using Grace's laptop one night, I stumbled on some of her Google searches. Best ways to kill yourself, said one query. Painless suicide, said another. His wife is suicidal. So, what does he do next? But that very night, I received a phone call that would change everything. The call came from my boss. I'd been asked to lead an educational project in Malaysia. They needed an experienced man as a project supervisor. And with my experience, I was one of the top candidates. Given Grace's condition and state of mind, the timing couldn't have been worse. Or so I thought. But unable to do anything about it, I set off for Malaysia. He has literally just found out his wife wants to kill herself. So what does he do? He packs his bags that very night and buggers off to the other side of the world. Arse hole. He even says he was one of the top candidates. Which means that there were other people that could have done the job. But no, he just wanted to get right out of there. Honestly, I don't know why I'm picking apart this fictional story so much. It's just, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And this is also where it goes full story mode. He goes to Malaysia. He meets a Malaysian man in his 50s who's fit and healthy. He watches him eat every single night and sees that he has just one portion of dinner. He has no second servings. He has no desserts. He has nothing extra. And Morgan just can't believe it. Back home, I would never have seen it. We love our food and we keep eating and eating even after death. I mean, this fake Malaysian man couldn't be in good health because he isn't binging at every single meal. No, no, no. It's a secret ancient 11 ingredient recipe that only this Malaysian man seems to know. Our health is all down to these ingredients. He continued mysteriously. He's got these 11 magic ingredients. We're only 30 minutes in. Are we gonna find out what they are? Not quite yet. Now, stay with me here, because this is where it gets very interesting. Firstly, you couldn't be interesting if you tried. And you must be trying, because that's what you're getting paid for. Secondly, he doesn't tell us about these 11 ingredients. He starts talking to us about endocrine disrupting chemicals from all the tins and plastics used in food packaging, which cause leptin resistance and therefore causing obesity. This is just more waffle bollock overload but there isn't much conclusive evidence that this is a major factor in obesity because it's barely got past the mice testing stage. If we are all exposed to these obesogens, then why aren't we all obese? Why aren't the majority of people obese? It's dismissive to pass the blame onto something extrinsic. I'm sorry, but you are here for the truth. It is your behavior that has led to your weight gain, but it is also your behavior that can determine your weight loss not some diet pill or hack. Ashraf's recipe included 11 natural ingredients clinically proven to detoxify the body of every EDC that it exists our planet today. So these 11 ingredients have apparently been proven to detoxify the body, not that they provide any evidence for that. But where's the evidence that they help with weight loss? There isn't any. On top of these 11 ingredients, he wants to improve the formula with modern science and this is where the fake researcher enters. Of course, without any medical training or experience, I needed help. Sonia Rhodes, a dedicated, independent medical researcher with over 29 years experience, had a personal interest in what I was doing. This woman doesn't exist. It is highly improbable that someone with 30 years worth of study would have not published a single research paper and, like Morgan, has no trace online whatsoever. She greeted me with a warm hug and a big smile. Your research is completely correct, she said. Oh, so I guess that's conclusive then. Plus, Sonia had found another 11 amazing nutrients that would boost the power of the recipe even further. So they go through the new list, the original 11, and then the new 11 ingredients. Like an acetyl, cysteine, burdock, root, choline, chicory root, 
methanine, fever few, plus five more. And five more. What are they? You can't just not tell people what the ingredients are. We didn't have to wait for approval. We just needed one willing patient to put the protocol to the test. And of course, that patient was Grace. All right, guys, raise your hand if you would give an untested drug formula to the person that you loved the most. Anyone? Anyone? No? Just this arsehole then. Nice. When something remarkable happened, we just finished dinner and I handed Grace the bowl to grab a second portion of food, a habit we'd gotten used to since she gained the weight. No, I'm fine, thanks. I'm full, she said. What? What indeed? Maybe you weren't helping, mate. This is what it sounds like. Your fake wife was suicidal because of her obesity. And instead of being supportive and helping her towards a weight loss goal, you were sustaining her negative behaviours by trying to overfeed her. He then goes on to say that she loses weight rapidly, safely and naturally, allowing him to jump back into bed with her. No, I am not joking. Then smiled at me and told me to meet her in the bedroom. It was the most amazing, passionate night of my life. Then they run their own tests. All 45 volunteers reported dramatic drops in their hunger and cravings, and in turn, their weight. The average weight loss was 53 pounds. Where is the actual evidence for this though? A scientific report of the data? Does it exist? Is it anywhere? No. And here is the big reveal and we're only at the 50 minute mark. With no medications, no exercises, no dieting, and you can start today. And we've called it Leptotox. So, no five second water hack. And I can't really start today now, can I? Because I have to purchase his waffle bollocks first. And you can get access to everything in the next 90 seconds. That is a long 90 seconds because the presentation lasts another 20 minutes. Anyway. How much is it for this miracle product? I sell a 30-day supply of Lepitox for $997. Holy macaroni. Well, at least his wife gets it for free. And my own wife, Grace, suggested $597. Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot for a second. Arsehole. And although it's already helped over 166,304 men and women. So wait, that's 166,304 people purchasing this product at $997. That works out to be 165,805,088 dollars. So I really think that they could have afforded a real website and maybe some better Photoshop skills. Are you really telling me I need to fork out a grand just to buy a 30-day supply of this supplement. All I'm trying to do here is cover my costs and keep the website running for as long as I can. Ah, the hero returns. So, how much will it really be? You can get a 30-day supply of Leptitox for a simple one-time fee of just $59. Phew! That is definitely a more reasonable price. But, is it actually worth what you're getting? A bunch of ingredients that actually have no scientific evidence that they support weight loss. These ingredients are essentially providing vitamins and minerals to help detoxify the body. But they don't provide information on how much you're actually getting for over half of the ingredients because it's in a blend. And let me just tell you right now that the dosage is not enough. Furthermore, they can't tell you how much of the recommended daily allowance these ingredients cover because they're not the individual vitamins and minerals, but the larger compounds. And from what I've researched, there needs to be much larger doses to actually have any decent effect at even detoxifying the body. I'll cover this in part two in a lot more detail when I really go in depth on the ingredients listed. So the question here is, would you pay more for a multivitamin that doesn't fully disclose the ingredients that you're getting and is by all means an overall weaker formula? No. You wouldn't. Oh, and just to let you know, you can buy a whole year supply of vegan multivitamins on Amazon for 20 quid. Why would you spend 60 on a one month supply? I don't really need to do the maths for you there, do I? Everything considered, I hope that you can see that this is a huge scam. It is so blatantly dodgy. 
easy to see from their lack of a proper website, photoshopped images, a fake founder, a fictional researcher, the elaborately fabricated story, which not only discredits the true scientific evidence of exercise and healthy eating for weight loss, but directly contradicts it declaring that they facilitate weight gain. Why? To promote an unsupported claim that a diet pill with no scientific evidence can help you lose weight by detoxifying your body whilst you remain inactive and continue to eat junk. It is clearly a scam. It will not help you. There is no magic quick fix to weight loss. It is another shameful display of money grabbing techniques at the expense of less informed hopeful individuals who struggle with their weight loss. There is no evidence that this works. There is no evidence that this has been tested. That also means there is no evidence into the potential side effects that this can have. However, as mentioned earlier, someone has experienced hair loss and that should tell you enough. I know this has been a long video and I truly appreciate you and I appreciate the time you've given to be here. As I mentioned, I will be back to do an in-depth review of all the ingredients. Thank you for your time. I hope you've benefited from this video. If you have, then please let me know down in the comments below. Obviously, there's a certain element of speculation, so let me know down in the comments if you do agree and think that this is a scam, that you think the guy is an actor, and you also think that he's a bit of an arsehole. Nice one. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please do give it a like. If you're feeling extra nice, then please subscribe. If you are struggling and want some personalized advice, I offer one-to-one -one online consultations and I've linked my email below so that you can get in touch and find out further details. Till next time, bye.